Today's technique is an old school Americana setup. I'm going to show a couple ways to set it up and I'm going to show a couple of different ways to finish. Uh, this is something that we used to do back in the 90s. So my first uh, jiu-jitsu instructor was Craig Bell. Uh, he was a Hickson Gracie affiliate of Blue Belt under Hickson. He also was a judo black belt, really good at Niwaza. That was his focus. And he also trained with Eric Paulson. So one of the things I'm going to show at the end is kind of a catch finish uh, to the Americana. So um, we'll start off. Uh, I'm going to be at mount. So I mount on my opponent. And again, uh, back in the 90s, the main reason why most people did jiu-jitsu was for fighting or self-defense. So I'm going to set up here the strike. So I'm going to be doing a punch my opponent here or palm strike him. He's going to defend by raising his hands up. Okay, so his hands are up. And the first entry to the Americana I'm going to do is as I strike him, I'm going to bring one hand up high and I'm going to uh, do a hard palm strike on this forearm right here. So I'm here, hard palm strike. When I land, my elbow is by his head here and uh, this hand, of course, is, is grabbing his wrist. I go, um, I'm going to do a palm up here. I grab my own wrist and I'll finish from here. The key thing here when I finish, um, I, don't, I don't want to just keep his arm here and lift up. I'm going to pull his elbow down here to his side. The closer it is to his side, it makes it tighter and it'll make it easier to finish here. Okay? And you'll find against guys that are really big and strong, you know, with a lot of muscle, uh, they're not very flexible. I'm just lifting up a little bit will finish. So again, I'm here, okay, I'm striking. And I'm gonna blast this down hard. Elbows by his head, create that frame. I'm gonna settle down into a little mount. I have my hooks in here. And again, palm up, grab my wrist, head to my um, hand here, pull down, and lift up. Okay. So uh, that is one way to enter. Another way to enter is his hands are up, you know, I'm hitting him, or maybe he's just defending. I'm going to put um, both my hands on his wrist and forearm, okay, and I can uh, shift my weight off to this side here, and I'm going to push uh, down on my body weight here to get his hands to the mat, okay, so I use my body weight to help get his hands to the mat. Once it's to the mat, I drop my elbow, okay, and then again, I finish the same way. So here, set into a uh, low mount, and I finish, okay, from this angle here. Again, have mount, okay, I'm start striking him. He defends. I come up here, blast, my elbows by his head. I settle into a low mount here, my hook's in, and I finish. Okay, and the other way is, okay, he has hand up here or lower. Okay, even if I'm striking, his hands are up high, go ahead here. Same thing, I'm just using my body weight, okay? So one hand here by his uh, elbow forearm here, this hand here by his wrist, and I just push down with all my weight to get his uh, arm down, and then I finish from here. Set my hooks and finish. Okay, so that is basic way to finish. Come over here. Okay, and sometimes though, this way. Okay, sometimes what happens when I'm trying to finish, we'll come back here. Is I have the Americana, but yeah, he gets his head inside here. Well, he pulls an arm, yep. So when his head's here, it can be hard to finish. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is switch this hand. I'm gonna grab uh, just his hand here. I don't wanna grab it high here. I'm gonna grab by his uh, hand here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, have a little mount. I lift his head up and I circle this around. Okay, come back this way here. So a common mistake people do from here is either to grab on the forearm here, so there's a little bit less leverage, I'm going to grab by the wrist, and some people just from here just roll the hand up here. See, there's, there's more play in the arm here, it's not as tight, and if people are flexible, it's not going to tap them. So what I want to do is I'm going to make his hand do an arc. I'm going to paint the mat in like a semicircle here. Okay, so I have his wrist here. And I'm gonna circle it around like this, and it tightens it up. 
and make, make some tack really quickly here. Okay, so again, I'm here. I got my little mount. Okay, I can lift his head up. Or another option is, so my hands are around his head. Okay, I grab inside his armpit. So I'm here, I grab inside his armpit. I do the same circle, but at the same time, I lift his head up this way. Okay, and that's the catch finish. So that is a couple old school ways to get to the Americana and the basics on the finish and then the way to do the catch wrestling finish.